welcome. Today, we're at the Ontario Investment and Trade Centre, downtown Toronto, and we're here for a very special event, the announcement of Canada-India Healthcare Summit 2017, which will be held in India, New Delhi, on March 30th and 31st. Now, this healthcare summit is an initiative by Canada India Foundation to strengthen the ties between India and Canada in the healthcare sector. Canada India Foundation was formed about 10 years back, mainly focusing on public policy. The intent is to develop great relationship between two great democracies, India and we call God's country, Canada. And we together, these two democracies work together for opportunities for everybody. Opportunities for good standard of living, social values, and offering good future. We organize forums on focused themes and issues, focusing on policies that can help both countries of a Karmabhumi Canada and Matrabhumi India. My ancestry lies in India, and that's why my involvement in business and my connection with that great country you know, began. Um, on behalf of uh, Canada India Foundation, I'm very grateful that I've been given an opportunity uh, to be part of this mission and also to see that the great health system that we have, that we share with the people of India and the, and the professionals of India. Canada is blessed with resources and India is also blessed with lots of resources and also a population of 1.2 billion people. It's not just the numbers. If you take the population density, there are about 350 people living per square kilometers in India, as opposed to 3.1 in Canada. So we have the resource, we have the knowledge base, and it is part of our moral fabric, moral responsibility to share the knowledge. We became associated with Canada India Foundation last year. Uh, during the inaugural Canada India Health Summit here held in Toronto. Uh, working with William Moser Health System, uh, we were quite interested in partnering with partners from India uh, on different aspects of healthcare, whether it's providing care at the front lines or the other uh, innovation and technology aspects of healthcare that we can get from our partners in India. Uh, we have a global health program at William Moser Health System which sends a team to India to teach about Ontario healthcare and to learn about the Indian healthcare system. So that was another reason it was important for us to attend uh, the Canada India Health Summit. We did healthcare. Last year we did that at King Edward Hotel. Many people from India came and the conference was a, great, was a great success and we had topics whether it's digital or distant care, policies, alternate medicine and uh, uh, research, innovation. We had many people. We had a big delegation from India. Rahul Reddy from India was, uh, was, uh, was, was here from Apollo and many other people from India from Minakshi Mission Hospital, Arvind High Hospital and many people did come. We had great participation here, Toronto Healthcare, Ministry of Ontario Government supported us, William Osler supported us, and it was a great success. We gave the report to both governments in India as well as in Canada and Ontario. We see a tremendous opportunity to partner with Canada and Canadian companies to help advance healthcare. Take a place like India. You can take an Apollo hospital, um, and you know Apollo as well as other hospitals there the care you'll get is on par with anything in the world. 
And I can say that because I, yeah, we benchmark against the best institutions in the world. When you think about Canada and, and what Canada offers to the world, but you, what, you think the reverse is true. India, in my opinion, is a country that is on fire economically. And I think we have to take the best of it. And I think Canada and India ought to be uh, doing a heck of a lot more to bridge that uh, those, those kinds of opportunities for people in India and people in Canada. And what better way to do that through the Canada India Foundation? What it does particularly well is to, to look at it in the context of government to government and government's role in, in, in bringing along uh, the public and the private sector together. You know, governments never lead. Their governments always follow. So when you look at it in that context and how the CIF, who have expertise in public policy and the ability to, to sort of impact that so that governments can follow on the heels of what kind of innovation and good things are happening from the private sector, that's good for both Canada and India. Canada today imports 79% of its genetic drugs from India. Every time you have a headache, you're consuming a product from India. The generic acetaminophen, the raw material comes from India. Of that percentage, my company imports 44% of that. take the learnings from the great ecosystem that we have in Ontario and be able to support India healthcare infrastructure over there. And so uh, in this whole discussion, uh, we were evaluating, is India ready, uh, where are the gaps, so and so forth. And then we decided, okay, fine, it's now time. We should be leading a business mission to India. India, we have islands of excellence in healthcare surrounded by a sea of I guess mediocrity or even less. And I think what we have in Canada is, I wouldn't say a sea of excellence, but definitely sea of excellent quality health care. But I would argue, and I dare say, that there might be areas where India's islands of excellence might be doing just a little bit better than our sea of very, very good healthcare. So there is some ability to learn from that excellence, but I think as well as a great ability for us to show how we can do such a fantastic job of our healthcare across this great province. We can, and they are looking for the opportunities, markets, and India can be a good market where we can collaborate, we can work together, and we can, all India and Ontario can grow. And those kind of jobs, they are strengthening our economy, they are strengthening our growth. And what I would like to say that our government took a trade mission to India early this year, and CIF has played a very significant role. Dr. Lucky, thank you very much for guiding and directing our government. And we have been able to sign lots of agreements. The credit goes to CIF. This is why we see working with, uh, partnering with Canada and Canadian companies as a tremendous opportunity to help address that. Now, on the reverse side, there is also quite a bit that can be learned from India. Um, how are you able, in India, we're able to do high quality heart surgery for $2,500. Now, obviously, there's, there are a number of things that go into that, but there is innovation and process, uh, flows, things like that. Got some research opportunities that have come out of it. Uh, Dr. Ronald Hasselgrave is here, and he's working with Apollo uh, for research. And we've just launched this month uh, the Care Beyond Borders pilot. What that means is that patients of Indian origin who are seriously ill people who take, getting chemotherapy, dialysis patients, serious cardiac patients, they're afraid to go to India and see their loved ones, often in their last years of their life, because they are not sure that they can get the same level of health care. We have now partnered with Apollo in that when a patient is leaving from uh, Toronto, you know, they could be William Moser patients or other patients, and they're traveling to Punjab, India, or Delhi, we have a one number to call that will arrange a consultant at Apollo to do a checkup on them or two or three checkups during their stay in India. We will transfer their medical records there and on their way back, their medical records will be back to us before they arrive back to us. So it's just one small example of the partnership that we can do 
and, and learn from each other. So we'll be happy to be there in India. This year's Global Health team will be selecting next week, we'll be selecting eight members, and this year our Global Health mission runs from March 23rd to April 7th, and the conference is right in the middle. So I'm hoping to bring 10 people from the William Moser Health System to the conference. Thank you. The revenue, how can we do it more efficiently marrying the technology, digital, distant network, so guy in Inuit gets the same health care as guy in Northern Ontario gets the same health care in Mississauga or Brampton and downtown Toronto. Same way in Jharkhand or, uh, or, or Assam, we'll get the same quality care as we get Rahul in Chennai or Mumbai. I know that uh, President Kalam saying, Pura, you're taking it to your heart, you're trying to do. And here in Canada, we have this great universal care and also great experience of giving good quality of life to how we can work together and bring like-minded people together and how we can help both countries. We want to bring the cost down from India. We want to bring your experience, the digital technology experience from, from India to here, how we can make it more economical. And why is it important for India and Canada to have such summit? Uh, well, we're very excited about the summit. Um, and we, it's a great platform for India and Canada to not only learn from each other, but to also develop relationships to help us advance healthcare. Uh, the reason this is important is when you look at a country like India, the majority of the healthcare infrastructure is in the urban areas, but the majority of the population are in the rural areas. So one challenge is how do you deliver healthcare to them in a cost effective manner? Um, there are a lot of great companies here in Canada with some interesting technology, know how, capabilities that can help in addressing that. By the same token, in India, we have developed a tremendous amount of capability in delivering healthcare on a large scale, and not only advances in healthcare itself, outcomes on par anywhere else in the world, but the ability to deliver this to more people. And many of those learnings are very applicable here in Canada, especially with an aging population, increased incidence of non-communicable diseases. So the summit is a great platform to make those connections. Uh, I am the main sponsor for William Moser Health System's Global Health Program. The Global Health Program was launched three years ago and uh, it has, uh, it's basically a team of William Health, uh, William Osler Health System frontline staff members that travel to India on an annual basis. Uh, we want to make it more frequent than annually to provide health care and teachings in hospitals in India. That's only one part of it because the opposite aspect is that we learn so much more from the healthcare system in India. We work with Apollo hospitals, we work with Dianan Medical College uh, and Hospital in Ludhiana, and we also work with a village hospital in Sarabha, India, which is just outside of uh, Ludhiana. Outstanding healthcare innovators in India. Example, Rahul is here representing Apollo Hospital. And there are many, many people who can and who will be able to share the passion. And the bridge between India and Canada is not well established. Brag enough in Canada, particularly in this province, about what we can offer. And so I've been saying to the government of Ontario, I've been saying to governments across this country, and in, in, our, in the work that we do in healthcare and designing emergency medical systems and providing better outcomes in the work that we do with the designing of those systems, I think we, we have an opportunity to, to showcase some of the best and the brightest that we have here in Ontario as, as to what we can do in India. I was really fascinated by Rahul's comments here when he talked about the fact that in India, for example, you have 70% of your population in, in the, the, the country of India living in rural areas. We need to we need to do exactly what President Abdul Kalam had said and to, to provide those urban amenities in those rural areas. And what better way to do that than to look at how we could play a role from Canada. We do a good job here. Uh, we're a very vast country. And so we've had to, by design, look at how we, how we we link people who are thousands and thousands of miles away. So we've got some good expertise from that, and I think we can bring it to India. Thank you very much. We are the finest institutions in the world. 
our sick children hospital is second to none. Our uh, Chile hospital is, uh, is, is a classic example uh, of uh, research. With us as a hospital, as Trillium Health Partners, and how we can best connect in a symposium in India. I, when I think about Trillium, you think about 1.6 million patients visits annually. That's the highest volume in Canada in terms of patient visits. We have three sites, the Queensway Hospital, just right across from Sherway Mall for you shoppers. We also have the Mississauga Hospital on here, Ontario in the Queensway. And we also have the Credit Valley Hospital on Eglinton and Aaron Mills Parkway. We see a significant volume of patients, as I mentioned, and we see over 270,000 emergency and urgent care visits annually. That's the most in North America of any type of system. We see diversity in all its forms, and we believe we have an opportunity, a unique opportunity to solve some of the most challenging issues as it relates to the health system. So innovations at the forefront at Trillium, we're working hard and established an Institute for Better Health, which is all focused on health system redesign. So we believe there's some very interesting opportunities to collaborate in this type of forum, learn from what's happening in India, and then have that uh, sort of cross dialogue as well too and have an impact. And also uh, McMaster University where we have Professor Anand doing a study on as to why the South Asian gets heart disease when they come over here under new, uh, new surroundings. This study is being financed partly by Chinchilani Foundation, the, uh, who is a Vasu Chinchilani, uh, the late Vasu Chinchilani, uh, was a founder member of Canada India Foundation, and also the federal government. Who, uh, do the study about the changing of the genes of the mother before the child is born. So that when they, when they go to the Western Hemisphere, the heart disease no longer exists. This is the type of study that is being carried out at, at McMaster. It's, it's a, about a $20 million study, and that is being uh, carried out at, at a great length in collaboration with the, some of the Indian scientists. So we have, we have great, uh, we have a lot to learn uh, from uh, India, and India has a lot to learn from Canada. I want to bend your minds for a little bit. In July of 2017, we will be celebrating, and I say celebrating, the first anniversary of the death of uh, President Abdul Kalam. I had the extraordinary honor in the years that I've been working with Lucky to become a friend of Dr. Kalam's. And when I met him in India, we had a very uh, lengthy discussion and he made a comment to me that stuck. And it's sort of tip it typifies, Ms. Banker, what you had said. And that is that he said, you in Canada don't even understand what you have as a unique selling proposition and that is your healthcare system. And when he said you have a unique selling proposition and exportability, and you made those comments earlier on today, I thought we need to really, we, we need to be a heck of a lot more ambassadorial about that. And it's incumbent on all of us who are in the business of healthcare and providing healthcare, uh, like we do, Lucky, in, in our business across this great world, that we, we look to the leadership of people leadership of people that we learn from like Dr. Kalam to bring that kind of uh, cohesion together and use Ontario. What are the key areas that you're looking forward from the summit coming in 2017? Some of the key areas uh, center around technology, med tech, uh, know-how, uh, pharmaceuticals, pharma, um, as well as advancing the discussion uh, to develop a deeper understanding of healthcare itself. You know, what can we learn from each other to improve outcomes, to improve quality of service? Having a contact to bring people together is the most important part. Because when you're traveling to a country like India or Pakistan or Bangladesh or Sri Lanka, to have trustworthy con contracts who will actually go the extra mile to uh, uh, enhance your project, uh, that's really key. And CIF, Canada India Foundation, plays that role acts as a go-between and brings us in contact with interested partners. From the summit point of view, some of the issues from the summit is to see how we can take Canadian technologies 
Canadian learnings to market in India. I would also like to see how we can learn from the frugal economy and frugal spending and yet maintaining a better health care for Canada. That's, that's the two way I'm looking at. Let's continue to work together and let's continue to build Ontario and India up together. Thank you. Uh, and to advancing the discussion on how we can all partner as well as exploring these opportunities and the Canadian in the Canada India Healthcare Summit is a great platform for doing that. So in my world of global health, that's what I do. Where we can share the knowledge, where we can bring value to the humanity. I think this endeavor of Canada India Foundation, having the last summit in Toronto, and then the next one coming up in New Delhi, it's a great example, and it is tremendous. We're very excited about the summit, um, and we, it's a great platform for India and Canada to not only learn from each other, but to also develop relationships to help us advance healthcare. Uh, the reason this is important is when you look at a country like India, the majority of the healthcare infrastructure is in the urban areas, but the majority of the population are in the rural areas. So one challenge is how do you deliver healthcare to them? in a cost-effective manner. Um, there are a lot of great companies here in Canada with some interesting technology, know-how, capabilities that can help in addressing that. By the same token, in India, we have developed a tremendous amount of capability in delivering healthcare on a large scale, and not only advances in healthcare itself, outcomes on par anywhere else in the world, but the ability to deliver this to more people. And many of those learnings are very applicable here in Canada, especially with an aging population, increased incidence of non-communicable diseases. India needs Canada, Canada needs India, and I think this will help a two-way trade as well. Thank you very much for coming. We, we hope to see you in India. Most of you, I, I think, will be traveling to India. We look forward to your participation in the, in the mission. Thank you. So that was the press conference to announce the launch of the Canada India Healthcare Summit 2017. I'm sure we all going to benefit a lot from this summit. If you will be in Delhi on March 30th or 31st, make sure to go for the summit. See you there.